This is Rajesh Gill. I'm the Group Chief Pilot uh, Technical and Efficiency for AirAsia. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the Green24 initiative that AirAsia has launched recently. It's a common misconception among probably everyone that uh, aviation contributes a large part of greenhouse gases that are being emitted into the atmosphere on a daily basis. Uh, as a matter of fact, aviation only contributes about 2% of the global greenhouse gases and in the transportation industry um, out, out of all the greenhouse gases being emitted uh, aviation really contributes 12 percent while automobiles your know, average car on the road trucks on the road contribute over 70 percent of these greenhouse gases here in air asia we travel with about or rather we our flights operate with about over 150 passengers um, on average with a load factor of over 80 percent basically over three quarters full. Think about the fact that you probably are traveling to work today by yourself in a car. Just from the scale of uh, uh, the number of cars on the road today, you can imagine why the automobile industry uh, contributes probably six to seven times more greenhouse gases than the aviation does. One of the uh, latest initiatives um, that we started a few years ago, we were the first airline in the world to operate the A320 with chocolates. These are a typical A320, except that if you fly with them, you'll notice that at the end of the wing, you've got a part of the wing that sort of uh, moves skywards, kind of like a shark fin, hence the name, the sharklets. What this does is basically it reduces the uh, amount of drag over the wing as we're flying through the air, which in turn reduces the amount of fuel required to fly from point A to point B. This of course means uh, we are emitting less greenhouse gases into the environment and saving the environment at the same time. Although it costs us a little bit of money to fit our planes with these sharklets, AirAsia felt that this was a, a great initiative to uh, kickstart our contribution uh, to the environment. About four years ago, uh, we started an initiative in uh, AirAsia where we decided to taxi that means when we're moving on the ground, that's what we call taxi. Uh, after landing, uh, with one engine, when we're coming to park the aircraft. Once the aircraft's on the ground, we don't exactly need both engines running to get back to the gate so that you can disembark. So after a certain amount of time, we were able to shut one engine down, in turn reducing the uh, amount of fuel consumed while taxiing from the runway back to the parking stand. For every minute that we do this, we're saving somewhere between 8 to 10 litres of fuel per minute. So we operate hundreds of flights a day. Uh, and you can imagine how much that equates to in, in a month or even in a year. You may sometimes hear it when we've landed or even when we're taking off these days. Um, as we've just after we've landed and we're taxiing back to the uh, parking stand, you may hear the uh, pilot shutting down one of the engines. There's nothing wrong, completely normal. Um, we're actually doing our best uh, to save the environment um, by taxiing back with one engine. With our partners at the Department of Civil Aviation Malaysia as well as General Electric, AirAsia went through a program, a performance-based navigation program to develop 14 uh, flight procedures into the 14 domestic airports that we operate into in Malaysia. We worked on uh, designing these new flight procedures uh, which allowed us to fly into these airports with a shorter track. Not only was this um, fuel efficient, which uh, equates to a reduction in the amount of greenhouse gases being emitted, but of course at some airports it also allowed us um, to fly in um, on, on slightly safer tracks away from high terrain. For example, uh, we've started one of the airports that we've started this initiative is in the city of Kuching. Uh, we've been flying these advanced procedures into this airport for the last couple of years now. And uh, as you can see on the map, uh, the red line is where we often fly into uh, Kuching. And if you can compare it with the yellow line on the map, you'll see how we are actually flying slightly shorter routes on our approach and landing into Kuching. What this does is, of course, it reduces the amount of fuel that we're burning on this flight, reducing the amount of um, carbon emissions being emitted into the environment, and of course, getting you to uh, your destination a little bit quicker. Although this is a Malaysian initiative that we've been doing in Malaysia, our counterparts in, in the AirAsia group 
uh, namely in Thailand, uh, Indonesia, as well as the Philippines, have also started this initiative with their uh, respective regulatory uh, authorities. And soon you'll be flying these advanced procedures into many of our destinations on the Asia network. Moving on to another um, initiative that AirAsia Malaysia has been uh, working on over the last uh, couple of years. We carry about 23 kilograms of manuals and books in the cockpit on every single flight, every single aircraft that we operate into. As you can imagine, uh, the heavier the aeroplane is when it flies, it requires a little bit more fuel to fly because it needs a little bit more power to fly from A to B. So what we decided to do was we, we decided to remove all these books and have them digitally uh, included in in tablets that we've provided to all the pilots that operate in AirAsia. What this does is it allows them uh, almost immediate access to all the information that's required and uh, at the same time it allows us to uh, reduce the amount of fuel burned, although a little, probably about two liters of fuel per flight. But as you can imagine over the period of a year with the number of flights that we do that does add up to a lot of fuel. On top of that, it also reduces the amount of time that's required, or productivity rather, that's required to print these manuals, update these manuals on a daily basis sometimes in the aircraft. Now with everything going electronic, everything could be done straight from the office. We use a Wi-Fi connector. Uh, when the pilot comes to work in the morning, he connects to the office network, updates his tablet, and off he goes on his flight. The next time you board an aircraft, especially if you're coming up the stairs from, from the tarmac, you'll probably hear a big loud engine at the back of the aircraft. It sounds like a little jet engine. It is actually a little jet engine. And what that does is it actually powers the electrics and the air conditioning system while we're parked on the ground without the engines running. Here in AirAsia, together with the engineering team, we minimize the use of this engine, which is called the APU, Auxiliary Power Unit, as much as possible on a daily basis uh, in order to reduce the amount of fuel uh, burnt um, during our operations. The A320 carries 200 liters of water uh, on every flight, or rather it has a tank that's capable of carrying 200 liters of water in it. As you can imagine, on a flight from, say, Kuala Lumpur to Penang, a 45 minute, an hour flight, uh, we don't use that much of water on board. This water is used for the wash basins, it can be used for the toilets. What we do here is, depending on the length of the flight, we only uplift or only fill the tanks with the, the required amount of water that we need for that particular sector. This in turn reduces the weight of the aircraft, which in turn reduces the amount of fuel that we're burning on each sector. For our friends in India, uh, AirAsia India, our counterparts over there, started an initiative together with the uh, airport authority of Bangalore. After each flight, as you can imagine, there's quite a bit of um, uh, water bottles that are often uh, thrown away on a daily basis, trash from the uh, aircraft, so on and so forth. Uh, what they've started doing is uh, we've started um, collecting these empty water bottles at the end of the flight from all the passengers. We were the first airline in India to start this initiative and uh, by working with the airport authority we would then be given a particular rating uh, at the airport. This could perhaps be used as a negotiating tool uh, to negotiate for probably lower uh, landing fees or even uh, charges at the particular airport. We hope to start this initiative in Malaysia, working together with uh, our friends at the uh, Malaysia Airport, Gurhat. And uh, we're now in the initial stages of uh, launching this program here in Malaysia. One of the things that I'm really excited about, uh, and I'm waiting for actually, in the middle of this year, is that AirAsia uh, will be uh, the first airline in the world to operate the CFM engined A320 NEOs. We've got about over 200 on order at the moment from Airbus. And with these engines on these aircraft, we expect to save between 15 to 20 percent uh, of our fuel burn on, on an equivalent route compared to the aircraft that we operate uh, today. So keep flying AirAsia, we're your green airline.